Hi and welcome to Labbert channel. Today we'll be doing the urine analysis using the dipstick method. Here are the parameters being measured, leukocytes, nitrites, urobilinogen, protein, pH, blood, specific gravity, ketones, bilirubin and glucose. Don't forget to check expiry date of the dipstick. If it's expired, you might get a false result. Looking at the side of the bottle are the various colours that can be seen in the dipstick. Each parameter has a specific time to be read. For example, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, etc. So don't forget to keep a stopwatch if you're doing this test manually. In addition, the sticks are kept in a dark bottle as they are light sensitive. So, don't forget to cap the bottle bag once you take out the dipstick. Here's the dipstick. I'll go through with you how to interpret the results first. The first white square is simply a color comparison. First up is glucose and bilirubin, which will be read 30 seconds. Comparing the color of the dipstick square to that on the bottle, which will be indicative if it's negative, trace, or if the level is a positive for each parameter. Ketones 40 seconds, specific gravity 45 seconds, blood 60 seconds, pH 60 seconds, protein urobilinogen nitrate 60 seconds, and leukocytes 420 seconds. Here is how to do the test. Ensure the two identifiers are correct, name and date of birth. Then, mix the sample by inversion. Dip the dipstick in the sample till all the squares have touched the urine. And dab out the excess urine on a paper towel or gauze. Immediately, start the stopwatch. Compare each square with that in the bottle or color chart given at the specific time. First up, 30 seconds. Glucose, negative. Bilirubin, negative. Ketones negative as well. Specific gravity, the color is comparable to a 1.010. The blood is a negative. pH 6.5, slightly acidic. Urobilinogen would be negative. Nitrate negative as well. Leukocytes, which is WBC, is purple. It looks like a plus one. Yeah, plus one for leukocytes.